Question 49 is a very long question, lots and lots of things to do. You've been given an equation for the velocity here, and you've been given lots of information to try and help you find out what the values of Q and R are going to be. Let's start with this one here. At t equals 0, at t equals 0, the velocity is 10. So I put the 10 in here. Of course, you get 0 here, you get 0 here, and we get r. So the first bit, r is equal to 10. Well, let's now put the next piece of information in. At t is equal to 2. At t is equal to 2, the velocity is 5. So I've got 5 equals 4p plus 2q, and r, of course, was 10. Now, we can't yet find out what p and q are, but we can rewrite this, putting, taking the 10 from both sides. And that's going to be the first part of a simultaneous equation that we're going to set up. Now, the second part comes from the other piece of information. When t is 3, the sp p is at its minimum value. Well, minimums, you'll remember, are when you differentiate it, and it equals 0. So at t equals 3, the derivative is going to equal 0. Let's differentiate this thing. dv by dt is equal to, times by the power, the power goes down by 1, um, tq just goes to t, sorry, just goes to q, and the r just disappears. And of course, this is going to equal 0 when the t value is 3. So I've got 6p plus q is equal to 0. Now, there's two simultaneous equations there. Um, I don't think you need me to go through how to solve those. Maybe just times that one by 2 and take them away. Um, but Or even just tap them on your calculator. And you get two answers. p is 5 eighths and q is minus 15 over 4. Well, we actually haven't done anything of the question yet. The question says, find the acceleration when t is 4. And of course, this is the acceleration. When you differentiate the velocity, that is the acceleration. So the acceleration is 2 times by the p number, which we've just figured out is 5 eighths. The t, well, the t is when t is 4. And the q number is minus 15 over 4. So that acceleration turns out to be 1.25, or 5 over 4. Now, the part B, is still another five marks to go, um, asks to talk. It asks us, i uh, just move down, it asks the distance travelled. Now, if I want to know what the distance travelled is, then what I'm going to have to do is I have to integrate the velocity. Now, if it says, how far does it go in the first three seconds, we'd be going from zero all the way up to three. It doesn't ask that. It asks just in the third second of the motion. So we want to know how far does it go between the second and the third second. So I'm going the integral from two to three in this thing. It takes a bit of thinking there. So what am I doing? I'm integrating between two and three of well, what was p? p was 5 eighths t squared minus 15 over 4t plus 10 dt. Integrating that, so the power goes up by 1 and divide by the new power. So I've got 5 over 24 now because 3 times 8 is 24. I've got 15 over 8 here, t squared plus 10t between 2 and 3. Um, I'm just going to tap that in the calculator, and it gives me 55 over 12. Lots of work to do.